Okay, here is my Arduino powered programmable drum kit. Um, the sound that you hear from these from the erasers actually is not as loud in real life. Uh, it's just that it's closer to the camera so that it sounds pretty loud compared to the sound that the gener MIDI generator creates. So, but anyway, so these are $2 piezoelectric uh, transducers from Radio Shack. It uh, feeds through the analog input of the Arduino and the Arduino have uh, six analog input so you can have up to six of these although I'm currently using one of them for uh, sensitivity which I'll talk in a second um, but uh, the Arduino will actually just send the right MIDI signal through these cables right here through my MIDI synthesizer and that's what actually makes the sound so let's talk about the sensitivity um, I found out that basically uh, depending on the sensitivity it could really trigger more, more than one at the same time and so I put this potentiometer just so I can adjust it rather than by doing a trial and error in code I was able to just use it use this potentiometer and really quickly find this the right tune for this particular uh, setup but uh, it is really really sensitive like for instance uh, right now if I just do this it's not doing anything but if I lower the sensitivity it is just so sensitive that even the small friction that the eraser make to the transducer is actually generating all the sounds. So you probably don't want it to be that sensitive. But uh, another cool thing is that I thought it would be cool to be able to program what these guys actually sound like. So let's say we don't like this particular drum. These two buttons control the sound of the last pad hit. So that goes forward this goes backward I think there's like 60 different sounds so you could press them one at a time or you could just hold it let's find something that sounds good I think we like let's say we like that one so that one now sounds like that uh, these are more sounds um, and they can be programmed too so Let's say that one. Okay. Now that one sounds like a symbol. Um, what else do we need to talk about? I think that's about all of it. And it was a lot of fun to make. Oh yeah, if you don't need these LEDs, you can use those uh, digital inputs. Instead of a making a digital output for the LED, you can make them digital input and have more of these buttons. So you can have up to, I don't know, probably six or seven um, pre-programmed sound like this that is not controlled by the, by the drum pad.